Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be continuing with the um, AP Calculus BC syllabus. I'm going to be discussing chain rule, derivatives of trigonometric functions, and derivatives of ln and e to the power of x. So now let's start with chain rule. So if y equals u to the power of n, we have learned that y dash is equal to n into u to the power of n minus 1. But we also have to add du by dx. We also have to add this differentiation. That means you have to differentiate this. Let me give you an example. 4x cubed plus 3x minus 2 to the power of 5. So using the power rule, we know that you, you put 5 as the coefficient, 4x cubed plus 3x minus 2 to the power of 5 minus 1, which is 4. But however, we can't leave it like this. We have to further differentiate whatever is in the bracket. We forget whatever is outside the bracket and we have to differentiate what's in. So 3 into 4, that's 12x squared. So into 12x squared plus 3. So this is what differentiation is. Now we can simplify this as 60x squared plus 15 into 4x cubed plus 3x minus 2 to the power of 4. So this is what the differentiation is. So we can't leave the bracket like this. We have to differentiate that as well. So now let me give you another example of chain rule. y equals x to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 2 by 3. We have to find y dash. So we can move this 2 by 3 here. 2 by 3 into x to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 2 by 3 minus 1, which is minus 1 by 3. Now we know we can't leave it like this and we have to differentiate what's inside this bracket. So that will be into 4x cubed plus 0. So I'm just leaving it as 4x cubed. So this is what our differentiation is. So now that we move on to de derivatives of trigonometric functions. So sine x, I will write as sine u. The derivative of sine u, okay, wait, I'll just write in a different way. So if y equals sine u, y dash is cos u. So the derivative of sine u is cos u into du by dx because of chain rule. So for example, if y is sine 2x, then y dash would be cos 2x into the derivative of 2x, which is 2. So it would be 2 cos 2x. The second one is when y is cos u, y dash is negative sin u. So, so this was the first rule. This is the second rule. Into du by d. Now the third rule. Y equals tan u. Y dash is sec squared u into du by dx. So now y equals 
sec q y dash is sec u into tan u into du by dx. Now, finally, the last two rules, when y equals cot u. So you should write down these uh, derivatives as they appear very often on the AP Calculus BC. Minus cos x square u into du by dx. And now, finally, when y equals cosec u, y dash is negative cosec u cot u into du by dx. So now these are the six derivatives of trigonometric functions which you should know. Now I'm going to be moving on to derivatives of ln x and e to the power of x. So when y equals ln x, y dash is equal to 1 by x. So the differentiation is 1 by x. So say we have y equals ln 5x. Or let me give you another, a little harder example y equals ln x square minus 3. And we have to find y dash. We have to apply chain rule again. So 1 by x, right? So 1 by x square minus 3. We know we can't leave it like this. And we have to differentiate what's only in the bracket, which is 2x. Now, when y equals e to the power of x, y dash is also equal to e to the power of x. So it stays the same. But sometimes you might have to apply chain rule. For example, when y equals e to the power of 5x, y dash would be e to the power of 5x. So you know it stays the same, but you can't leave it like this. You differentiate only the numerator into 5. 5x, the differentiation is 5. So we sh you should never forget to just different to apply chain rule to all to all functions whenever it's possible. Okay, that's it for today's video, guys. In today's video, I discussed three very important topics which are tested almost every time in the AP Calculus BC exam. Thank you.